It's your girl, Natina, and I'm going to show you guys how to grow your stream from 2 viewers to 2 million viewers. All you're going to need is a Sharpie and one hot tub. Let's get started! I do a lot of effects on my live streams, many of which use different voice changers. For example... Oh my god, babe, this Bubba Ice Tea is amazing. Error code 420, subscribers not found. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Or install Streamlabs. By the way, none of these effects require any expensive hardware like a GoXLR or even paid software like VoiceMod. No, this is completely free and can be done entirely within OBS just with a few simple plugins. Not only that, but you can even stack your effects on top of each other. So if you want to turn your god voice into a robot god voice, you can do all of that. And in case that wasn't enough for you, I'm even going to show you how you can let your viewers activate these effects using channel points and bits. If you're watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, damn, this is a good ass video, then you should check out the sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with a ton of different classes for aspiring content creators like you, Philip. When I first started making YouTube videos, I spent a lot of time figuring out how to script, shoot, and edit my videos. Well, the great thing is they have classes on film and videos, so you can learn things like how do you shoot your videos? How do you edit your videos? How do you light your shots? And you're not going to be learning from your boring 8th grade English teacher. MKBHD has a class in Skillshare, and that guy owns a Tesla, so you know he's cool. So if you ever wanted to learn how an actually successful YouTuber, aka not me, shoots, edits, and scripts their videos, you can learn directly from him. And it's actually a really insightful class because it shows you how he creates a story through his videos. Gilshire launches new classes all the time and none of them have any ads so you can focus on your craft and creativity. If you'd like to join Skillshare, click in the link down below and the first 1,000 of you guys that click in that link will get a free trial for their premium membership. All right, so voice changers. We are gonna be installing a bunch of things called VST plugins. If you don't know what a VST plugin is, then you just got exposed because now I know you're not subscribed. We talked about VST plugins in the past, but TLDR, if you're not familiar, just think of it as a piece of software that changes the way that your audio sounds. It's not exactly correct, but we're just gonna roll with that for now. One of the more popular VST plugins is called Replugs or Reaper plugins. And if you recall, we use Reaper plugins to improve the way that our microphone sounds by adding things like EQ and compression. However, there are hundreds of other VST plugins out there. Probably thousands, probably millions. Okay, maybe not millions, but there's a lot of VST plugins out there. A lot of them are paid, but some of them are free. So what I did is I gathered a few VST plugins that I personally use to create some really fun effects for my voice. But first, it's important that you understand how VST plugins work within OBS. You open up OBS and look into your audio mixer. Next to your microphone, you'll see this cog. You click on that cog and then you go into your filters and add a new filter, you'll see an option that says VST 2.x plugin. Add that and then you should see a drop-down box that shows a list of all of the VST plugins that you have installed. Now, if you've never installed any VST plugins, I believe that this drop-down box would initially be empty. In any case, the way that OBS populates this drop-down box is it searches for a particular folder on your system hard drive and checks to see if there are any VST plugins installed in that folder. That folder, right here, in the list right here, should be your C drive and your program files under the VST plugins folder. Just keep this in mind, this part's important because the installation process for every single VST plugin is slightly different. So anytime you're installing a new VST plugin, make sure that it gets installed into this VST plugins folder because this is the folder that OBS checks to populate this list. So let's try to use VST plugins to adjust the pitch of our voice. So if you wanna make our voice sound super high pitch, like we've inhaled like 12 balloons, we can do that, or, you wanna make it sound like you're coming from like the depths of hell, 
you can make your voice shine like that too. We are gonna be using the G-Form VST plugin. I'll leave that link in the description box down below. And the install for this is super simple. Just click on where it says G-Form and download the zip file and then unzip that file into your VST plugin folder. And it should immediately appear in the VST dropdown in OBS. You don't even have to restart OBS. It should just appear there automatically. You don't see it listed there. Maybe you close the filters window and then open it again. But the point is your microphone should have a VST plugin filter applied to it and the drop down box should say G form. Click on that and then click on open plugin interface. So here's the interface for G form and it's really as simple as it gets. If you want your voice to sound higher pitch, you just drag your pitch up. That makes your voice sound higher pitch. If you want your voice to sound lower pitch, then you just drag it down into the negative values. Now your voice sounds lower pitch. By the way, if you actually want to hear the difference in real time as you're making adjustments to your audio, then go into the edit menu, click on advanced audio properties, and then where your microphone is, turn on monitoring to monitor and output or monitor only. Now you might be wondering, Nutty, what does this formance dial do? So for the male to female voice that I like to use for my Natina voice, here are the settings that I use. I like to change the pitch all the way up to 12, but then I adjust the formants to 4.0, and that gives me the Natina voice. I also like to go into the tweak tab, and then I open up the minimum and maximum frequency just to their maximum, just so it affects my entire frequency range. For my voice. Another effect that I really miss from my GoXLR are the reverb and echo dials. So, sort of makes my voice sound like it's inside of the cave. It makes it sound more echoey. Sushi Dragon does this a lot in the stream. The one where he goes, Thank you. This one requires another VST plugin called. The f is it called again? Valhalla Supermassive. Again, I've linked this one down below. This one actually requires an installation file. So launch the installation file when you get to the point where it says, choose which plugin format you wish to install. Only select the VST 2.4 plugin because that's the only one that works with OBS. Also make sure that when it asks you what destination you want to install a plugin, use the VST plugins folder that we mentioned earlier. Then you can just add another VST to your microphone and select Valhalla Supermassive from the dropdown, then select open plugin interface. And you should see a whole bunch of dials. Now I would try to explain what each of these dials means, but then you guys would find out that I actually have no idea what I'm talking about. So what I actually do myself is I just use the presets. So I go into the presets and the one that I like a lot is the reverb A small and I use the reverb 2000 presets and then we'll just enable the filter again and it should work right away and i think this one sounds pretty good on its own now i encourage you to play with each of the dials to figure out what each of them do what i like to do is i like to adjust the delay dial which increases the amount of time between each sound to make it more echoey so you see when i increase that number it becomes more echoey and from a less echoey echoey i don't know how to speak you know what i'm talking about now, important note, because these are just normal filters in OBS, you can stack them on top of each other. So if I wanted to, what I did is I added a G-Form VST plugin just to make my voice sound deeper. But then on top of that, I also added some reverb via the Valhalla Supermassive VST filter. And then I added this to add some echo to my voice. And now I sound like God. There you go. Praise Jesus. The next effect is a really simple one. It's called the megaphone effect on the Go XLR, but it basically just sounds like you're talking into a phone. Sort of like, yes, hello, Philip. Yes, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop juggling on a front lawn. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. in the morning and you're scaring your neighbors. Yeah, yeah, I know, okay. All right, I'll talk to you next time. This effect uses the Reaper VST plugins, which we've already looked at in another video. But again, link that one down below. It also comes in its own installation file. Just make sure when you're installing it, install it into that VST plugins folder as normal. This effect, really easy to set up. All we did is we added a re-EQ standalone plugin to our microphone. And then we're basically just gonna EQ our microphone and get rid of all of the bass frequencies in our voice and that will make it sound like we're talking into a phone. So to do that, I actually just got rid of these four bands. So we were just left with one band and we changed the type to a high pass and I just set the frequency 
to 2000 hertz. So basically anything below 2000 hertz, we just cut all that out. Now if you want, you could also add another band. And what I like to do is I add a high shelf and I set this again, we'll set this to 2000 hertz and then we're gonna increase the gain a bit just to add a little bit more treble to our voice and make it sound more convincing. But that's it, that's the effect. By the way, if you didn't know, you could use re-EQ to actually make your mic sound better and not like total garbage like I just made it. So if you wanna see a video on that, do that thing in the corner. Now the last voice effect I have was recommended to me from someone in my Twitch chat and it's called the M Free FX Bundle from Melda Production. Now when I opened this one up, my first reaction was, I don't know what the f any of this means. I'm not an audio engineer. I don't know what any of this shit means. But there was one plugin that I really liked in this bundle called the Ring Modulator. Now, I don't know what a Ring Modulator is. Maybe one of you audio snobs can explain it to me. But all I know is it makes my voice sound like a Daft Punk song. And who doesn't like Daft Punk? You? You don't like Daft Punk? Stop watching my videos now. So you should be at a point where you've set up all your different voice effects as normal filters within OBS. The question is, how can you allow your viewers to enable and activate each of these filters using channel points and bits? Well, there's actually a few programs out there that allow your viewers on Twitch to take control of your OBS. So things like toggling sources on and off and changing scenes and turning filters on and off. We covered Leoran board, we've covered Touch Portal, which recently received a big update. Got to do an update video on that. There's also Mix It Up, there's BikuBot. There's a lot of different programs out there at this point. So far, my favorite out of all those programs is Leoran board. So I'll leave a card in the corner for those of you who don't know how to set that up. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna leave it there for this one. Guys, I only covered like four different VST plugins. There are literally thousands out there. And part of the reason why I made this video is so I can ask you guys, do you guys use any other VST plugins for your streams that I'm not even aware of? Let me know in the comments down below. For now, I'm gonna let Natina close this one out. Natina? Thank you, Daddy, for watching. And if you wanna join thousands of other QBs, make sure to join the Discord. Link in the description box down below. Also, if you wanna watch my twin stepbrother stream, he streams on Twitch three nights a week. And if you wanna see me stream, <laughs> Well, that stream's classified, so I'll catch you guys next time. See, this is why I'm unemployed now. <laughs>